Hey, this is Kat. Uh, we've been looking recently at blogging, um, setting up a basic blog through Blogger and through WordPress. Um, and what I want to talk to you now about is managing blogs. So I use them for my students. My students uh, create blog posts every lesson and it's really annoying to actually go to each blog separately to see whether or not that blog has been updated. So there is a tool that you can use. Actually, there are lots of tools, but the one that I'm going to look at is called Feedly and allows you to scribe to multiple blogs. So feedly.com. And this is the first page that we get to. The better place to curate and read what matters to you. Um, so we can get started or we can log in. Uh, hovering over the left will also provide those same bits of information. I have an account, so I'm just going to log in here. Okay, and it's loaded up my account. Now I've got on the left, I've got multiple categories. If we look at multimedia, that's my multimedia class this year. By clicking on the little arrow, it will expand the list and show what blogs I subscribe to. If I click on the name multimedia, it will actually show me all the latest blog posts. Anything that is bold, which nothing is here, uh, will be the ones that I haven't read yet and all the ones that are just normal text I have read. Okay, so no unread articles. I could go to Brody Lehman's blog by clicking on that uh, and it will show me his latest blog post or I could go to Julian's blog and it would show me his. Now the views changed. Uh, I can change the way I see that by clicking on the little cog. So I can go with title only, magazine style with a picture and some text um, or cards or I could go for full articles. And it's up to you what view you like best and you can change it as you go. Okay, so we've got multimedia there. Let's go to something that I have unread posts for. So if you see the category there is design, it says there are 173 unread. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so it shows in bold the ones that I haven't read. Let's change the view. So for something like design, I'd probably look at it in this tile view so that I can see whether or not it's something that I would want to read based on the picture. Uh, I'm one of those picture based people. If it doesn't have a good picture, I'm not going to read it. Um, so let's look at how you would actually add things to your subscription or, you know, things that you might follow. So you can click add content and without entering some information, it does actually give me some suggested categories. So I might peruse those ones. Let's go to gaming. Um, and there are a number of blogs here. So let's see Kotaku. Does that look interesting? Or not really, I'm not really into gaming, so I'm not actually going to like these, but Polygon. Uh, and if that was something that I liked, I could hit follow here and I could add it to one of the categories that exists. Um, for interest sake, let's add it to multimedia. And if I now go back to my Feedly, um, if I go to multimedia, it shows I've got 10 unread posts. Let's expand that or we'll click on multimedia and it shows all the ones that I haven't read yet. Okay. All right, so we've got that one. Now, if I don't want to follow that one anymore, I can actually just hit remove. Okay. So let's say that I find a website that I like. So The Cool Hunter has some uh, amazing places. Um, they've got lots of different categories, but let's say I really like amazing places. I can Select the URL at the top there, copy that with Control C, and in Add Content, I can paste that URL, and then I can hit the plus to subscribe to that feed. Now, maybe that one is a new category, let's call that travel, or maybe let's just, you know, be really unoriginal and call it Amazing Places, and I say Add. If I go back to my Feedly, I now have a new category, Amazing Places. I can click on the term there and it will show me all those unread blog posts. Okay. Now what you would do if your student sends you a URL, so I get my students to create a blog and then I get them to send me their URL. So I would click Add Content. I would paste in the blog and then I would create a category for whatever the subject is. So you only need to create the category once and then you can keep adding to it. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a way to start following 
different blogs. I would recommend that you set up Feedly for yourself first and start following a number of blogs about things that you're interested in so that you're familiar with how to use it before you start using it in your classroom. Have fun with it.